Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading holistic specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 617-822-1969 on 96.9 Boston Talks. Welcome home, Natural Health Nation. My name is Mark Mincola, and you're listening to the Natural Health Show here on 96.9 Boston Talks. You know, it's uh, astounding. You never, ever hear anybody complain about having too much energy. Imagine somebody walking around with that uh, that kind of trip. Hey, I'm, I'm just so overloaded with energy, I wish I had a little less. Now, everybody is, of course, the opposite. Everybody's wiped out half the time. And uh, according to the Center for Disease Control, one million Americans now suffer from chronic fatigue syndrome. So there's um, an awful lot of complaining to the opposite, to the contrary. Nobody is overloaded with an abundance of energy. Of course, some people uh, maybe overcompensate from time to time with a little bit uh, a little bit of too much coffee, perhaps, or you know, maybe uh, some Red Bull or something like that. But we're not talking about that kind of compensated energy. We're talking about getting good, viable, consistent control over your glucose metabolism and over your body's ability to uh, draw energy from ATP. And that's uh, pretty difficult to do, but uh, we've got the solution for you. When you think about human energy production, you must first sort of look at the energy molecules of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, NADH, and FADH. Uh, These are the real keys to human energy, and they're activated by something very, very uh, simple in the body. It's a five-carbon sugar. We've often talked about it on the broadcast here. It's called ribose, ribose, R-I-B-O-S-E. And, uh, you know, you might kind of think about ribose as the spark plugs in your body that actually generate the energy to the cell, to the mitochondria within the cell. The mitochondria are the little engines that we always talk about within your cells. And ribose is really the key spark plug for determining whether or not your body does indeed have real, honest-to-goodness energy. So um, we're talking about energy that is not... Well, like I said, coffee gives you the jag, for example. Red Bull gives you a jag. Ribose is not going to give you a jag. Ribose is going to give your body a consistent, even keel energy, which is pretty, pretty rare. And the two major energy spark plugs that are in the body, adenine and ribose, of course, uh, are really what energy is all about when it comes to good, balanced human energy. Ribose is made in the body through a complex process and uh, cannot be provided through food. So, you know, oftentimes we talk about natural supplements that are extremely important in the human body but are often available in some form of nutrition. Uh, This is not one of those cases. Ribose is not available through nutrition. It's only available within the human body and it is uh, generated by the supplement support because as we age and as we encounter a lot of stress, We produce less and less and less of it. The efficiency of our energy, of course, the more stress we encounter becomes less and less as well. So, you know, uh, not having sufficient ribose is like trying to uh, build a fire without kindling wood. That's the simplest way I would put it. And uh, there have been some pretty remarkable studies. A recent CFIDS, or chronic fatigue syndrome, uh, published study showed an average of 45% increased energy in only after three weeks of usage for 65% of the subjects. And uh, improvement began only after 12 days. So we're talking about a supplement, again, called ribose, R-I-B-O-S-E, for folks who are looking for energy, consistent energy, even keel energy, uh, vibrant energy for both mind and body. And uh, we're talking about something here that is a remarkable supplement that, uh, according to this one particular study, showed an average of 45% increased energy and only after three weeks for 65% of the subjects who improved, by and large, after 12 days. So it doesn't take a real long time for 
the ribose effect to be experienced. Folks can actually start using ribose and, and count on uh, really getting a boost in energy uh, fairly quickly. 12 days, again, is what I would generally suggest. And uh, in not only energy, we're talking about studies that have found that ribose supports mental function as well. And when we say mental function, we're talking about cognitive function, memory, uh, clarity of uh, clarity of mental function, etc. So, uh, number three, cardiac function. A lot of uh, remarkable work that's been done. A lot of studies regarding the manner in which the heart muscle receives energy from ribose. And uh, again, I often talk about Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra's great book, uh, The Sinatra Solution. And that is a breakthrough book on metabolic cardiology. It is really one of the very first breakthrough uh, pieces about uh, how important it is to supply the heart muscle with energy, and uh, specific with, specifically with uh, congestive heart failure. But nonetheless, uh, a, a really, truly remarkable book is The Sinatra Solution. So I highly recommend that book by Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra. He talks at great length about all the studies that have been done regarding ribose as a supplement to support cardiac function. Also, as I mentioned, ribose has been found to be very helpful for chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia as well. So we're talking about a real powerhouse supplier of energy, a real spark plug supplier of energy for mind and body, mental function, of course, cardiac function, chronic fatigue, and fibromyalgia. And uh, also, it's uh, something that has been studied quite extensively in the world of sports. There have been a number of different studies regarding sports recovery, and ribose has clearly uh, produced some remarkable results as far as, as uh, supporting the recovery of exhausted muscles and uh, exhausted body uh, wear and tear after sporting events. So uh, we're going to talk about that as well. And again, we're here also to take your calls in the Natural Health Show in Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless uses free call pound 96.9. Of course, we're here to take your calls regarding virtually any topic uh, that is associated with natural medicine, that is associated with uh, nutrition, diet, and uh, weight loss, uh, energy, as we're talking about this evening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So any of your questions, I know we, we often joke about uh, we see you walking around in the aisles of those health food stores looking lost. So <laughs> we want to make sure that uh, we give you a good reference point for what you're looking at on those uh, shelves throughout the uh, health food highways and byways of, of the, of the uh, greater New England areas. So we're here to help you with those questions and to try to help you get on board as far as uh, what to take, what not to take uh, for X, Y, and Z conditions. And uh, our support is, of course, uh, in the direction of natural alternative supports, uh, which are readily available in natural health food stores, etc. So anyway, we're, we're certainly theming this evening as we do each and every Sunday night here in the Natural Health Show on Ribose, which I think is a remarkable, remarkable uh, product that uh, if you haven't looked at it, uh, get on the internet and do some searching because Ribose has been well studied in the areas of sports medicine, uh, energy, of course, like we say, mental function, cardiac function, chronic fatigue syndrome, and fibromyalgia. So uh, it has uh, been studied extensively in all these areas. And again, the most astounding thing to me is that excuse me, this one particular study shows a 45% increase in energy after only three weeks for 65% of the subjects, and uh, noting that the improvement for regarding energy uh, took place in only 12 short days. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. Also, uh, when we talk about vigorous exercise, muscle energy is generally reduced as much as 30%. So when those of you who are out there running, you know, long distances or engaging in, uh, you know, grueling aerobic exercise, which is great, great stuff if your body's ready for that. But, uh, you know, you can actually deplete as much as 30% of your muscle energy. And uh, Dr. Ron Terry Jung, of course, has done some uh, remarkable research in this area of uh, sports study and sports medicine and found that ribose increased the rates of muscle recovery after vigorous work workouts by 430%.
So, uh, you know, the idea of waiting several days until you uh, get your body back after a grueling workout or a, a long-distance race, a 10K, a half marathon, a marathon, whatever, you know, this idea that you have to wait to get that lactic acid, that peruvic acid, and all those aches and kinks out of those muscles and joints, uh, not so, because, again, ribose is something that if taken properly before these uh, vigorous sporting events, these demanding sporting events, uh, can improve your muscle muscle recovery rate as much as 430 percent so really important information for you athletes out there as well and uh, again we're talking with you about ribose a pretty remarkable product that you'll find on the shelves at your local natural health food stores but also we're here to take your questions as i always remind you in boston and new england 617-822-1969 verizon wireless uses free call just pile to just dial pound 96.9. Easy for me to say. Hey, we're going to take a short break. Be right back. Stay tuned. 96.9's new primetime lineup. Rise and shine! Jim and Marjorie, 6 to 10. Doug, me and 10 to noon. We're going to have some fun, people. Michael Smirconish, live, noon to 3. And Michael Graham. You let me ride home with you after work. Now, afternoons, 3 to 7. We'll know a little more and have a lot more fun. <laughs> 96.9 Boston Talks. The brain requires nutrition just like the rest of the body. Although many of us depend upon caffeine for focus and concentration, caffeine is not actually a nutrient. Real nutrition is needed to enhance brain metabolism and provide antioxidant protection. This is where Jaro Formula's Neuro Optimizer comes to the rescue. Neuro Optimizer is a concentrated source of the nutrients needed for memory and mood, for concentration and focus, all without being a stimulant. Neuro Optimizer supplies the building blocks for neurotransmitters transmitters, the chemicals that allow cells in the brain to communicate and to file away memories. Acetyl-L-carnitine and alpha-lipoic acid support brain energy production. Phosphatidylserine, L-glutamine, and taurine enhance brain stability and detoxification in the face of stress. Neurooptimizer is the nutritional answer to the brain's needs. Ask for Neurooptimizer at your local health food store. Or for more information, go to Jaro.com. That's J-A-R-R-O-W for the best in brain health formulas. Do you own or manage a natural health, fitness, day spa, or go green business? Perhaps you have a unique restaurant that offers healthy entrees, heart-smart seafood, vegetarian, or lighter fare options. I invite you to share your vision and deliver your message directly to health-conscious New Englanders by becoming a sponsor of The Natural Health Show, New England's number one health radio show. The Natural Health Show is now welcoming potential sponsors to join our natural health family by offering a number of creative and flexible sponsorship packages. For information on how to become a sponsor of The Natural Health Show, simply call Candida at 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Be a part of New England's natural health revolution. Join our Natural Health Show family today. Make plans now for a day with Alberto Violdo, renowned medical anthropologist, psychologist, and leading teacher of shamanism. Hear Alberto Vialdo on Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana 43 Scanlon Drive, Randolph. With so much worrisome news lately, Alberto may be just what you need to keep yourself in balance, not forget your true mission, and likely get nourishment. Alberto will share spiritual inspiration coming from his own process in a unique presentation, 2012 and beyond. Register for Alberto Vialdo at MyHealthyLivingMag.com. General admission is just $49. Program begins begins at 6 p.m. This is your chance to see Alberto Violdo live Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana in Randolph. Reservations, call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Or online, MyHealthyLivingMag.com. MyHealthyLivingMag.com. Come to learn how we can live in genuine harmony with each other. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, free call, pound 96.9. And we've got some calls we're going to get with here. So let's uh, first get to Jessica in Holliston. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks for the Natural Health Show. Hi, thanks for taking my call. Pleasure. I love the show. Thank you so much. 
I was just wondering about the ribose. Is it safe if you're breastfeeding? It is. Uh, the only contraindications to date with regards to the uh, studies on ribose that, are, that have been around now for about 20 years is uh, for folks who, some folks who are on diabetic medications to lower blood sugar. Uh, there have been some reports that some people's chemistries will tend to uh, drop their, sh their blood sugar a little bit with ribose. Now, it is a pentose, which means it's a five-carbon sugar, and most people think, well, wouldn't it raise your blood sugar? No, it actually has the opposite effect for some folks. So uh, the only contraindications really to date would be for those folks um, who are on a blood, uh, blood sugar medication and are uh, sensitive to the idea of, of, of pushing down that blood sugar because this will, in some cases, do that very thing as well. So that's about it, but you'd be fine. Okay, great. Thank All you. right. Enjoy. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, let's get to uh, Jackson in Carr. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks from the Natural Health Show. Hi there. How are you? Very good. Um, I'm on my way to um, Canada to, to the Green Build Show, a, a show all about solutions for the world. Um, great. And um, I just wanted to make a, um, a comment. I, I enjoy, very much enjoy your show. Thank you. And um, uh, and I wanted to both to the listeners um, bring up um, the concept of um, lawn care. Uh, according to um, hundreds of studies, uh, the most toxic thing inside or outside your home is lawn care chemical. And um, that's according to Health Magazine. Uh, they they had an article about the twelve most toxic things inside or outside your house. They said lawn care chemical was number one. And um, uh, and you don't need to use it. You can have an organic lawn and uh, never use um, mm -hmm. lawn care chemical. And um, uh, in order to uh, protect the environment, um, I put together a team of uh, PhDs from three agricultural universities um, about 10 years ago. And through eight years of research, we invented a new kind of lawn grass called Pearl's Premium. Interesting. That they, uh, sell at Whole Foods supermarkets mm -hmm. and Mahoney's Garden Centers, and it never needs chemical fertilizer. It grows super, super slow, so you only have to cut it once a month instead of once a week. Interesting. And because it grows so slow and needs so little nutrients, you can just leave the clippings, and it gets more than half the nutrients it needs, and then just once a year use a small amount of, um, of organic fertilizer, either in the spring or the fall. Well, you know, Jackson, this warrants a website. Why don't you go ahead and give a website? Um, yes, um, uh, pearlspremium.com. That's P-E-A-R-L-S. Good. P-R-E-M-I-U-M dot com. And you can otherwise get it at, in Massachusetts at, at any, or along the East Coast at any Whole food supermarket or at Mahoney's Garden Centers. Worthy of a free plug. Good job and uh, good effort on your part. Thanks for calling in. Great stuff. Yeah, I just read somewhere not too long ago that uh, somebody assessed in a study that there are 83,000 toxic chemicals in our environment that we're exposed to on a daily basis, and that indeed he's correct that uh, the, that our lawns are the number one source of those 83,000 exposures that we get hit with constantly. So ours is unfortunately a toxic world. I was just uh, looking at some information last night about bromides, which are uh, they're finding now that you know we often bring up the question why so many low thyroids, why there's so many thyroid thyroid problems out of the blue. It seems like thyroid is just, you know, quadrupling. But uh, bromides, which are uh, chemicals that are in a lot of soft drinks, they're in a lot of orange-flavored uh, soft drinks and a lot of sports drinks. They're in a lot of the breads. They're in a lot of... Uh, outgassing of carpets it's it's uh in pesticides it's everywhere but they're finding those bromides are extremely high they find that uh folks that have thyroid cancer have uh, 50 times the level of bromide so anyway those are really powerful agents that uh, are virtually everywhere and so many of these toxic chemicals of course are going to have to be reckoned with and uh, that's good information we thank you for that jackson again in boston and new england our number is 617-822-1969 verizon wireless free call pound 96 Nine. Let's get to uh, Laura from Watertown. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Hi. Hi, Mark. How are you? Terrific. How are you? I have thalassemia trait, <laughs> and um, 
and uh, an underactive thyroid. Yeah. And most of the doctors I've talked to said, well, just stay healthy and, uh, you know, try to avoid getting sick. And for the most part, I am very healthy. I eat the right foods and exercise and drink the right stuff and all that. I'd just like to know if there's anything else I can do for my energy level. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, theme of our program this evening probably is something well worth giving a try. I think ribose is probably a real good way to go. Um, you know, in terms of dosage, you're going to be thinking about week one through three, you want to take uh, five grams twice a day uh, because those first three weeks are really important to acclimate your system to the ribose as a supplement. So I would say that you get yourself some ribose and, uh, you know, uh, our great uh, sponsor and good friends, Jar of Formulas, makes a great, great ribose. Get the large ribose powder. Tiny little thimble-like scoop in there is uh, 2,200 uh, milligrams. So like two, two of those little scoops and you're good for five grams. It's pretty easy to do. I would do that twice daily. And uh, then you want to just drop it down to about five grams per day after week three. So um, I would start off with uh, ribose. And again, five grams, roughly, well, 4,400 grams, uh, 4,400 milligrams, rather, uh, twice daily. So two scoops in the morning, two scoops in the afternoon. And uh, do that for the first three weeks and then cut it back to uh, just two scoops once a day. And uh, kind of take a look at that and see what you think. But I, I think that's a great way to get your energy up. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I'm such a fan of yours. I, I just think you're wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very wonderful yourself for saying it. I appreciate that kind comment. You know, ribose is uh, one of those supplements that, too, you know, Delivery is always a real tough thing. By that, I mean an awful lot of supplements, you know, sometimes you got to swallow awkward capsules, really large football-sized pills and capsules. Um, it's not always easy to get a delivery. It's also not always easy to have results real quickly. You know, there's some supplements that take uh, f four months, six months, three months, uh, six weeks. So ribose really has a great, great payoff because ribose is one of those supplements that uh, easy to take. Like I just pointed out, our great sponsor and friend Jaro Formulas makes a ribose powder uh, available at all the uh, natural health food stores. Good Health Natural Foods, of course, has it. I'd get the large container, but there are a little thimble-like scoop in there that you can mix in water, and it actually just sweetens your water ever so slightly and makes it taste good. And uh, so easy delivery, very, very easy to absorb fast working. We're talking about something that's going to produce uh, pretty dramatic results in a short period of time. Roughly a two-week period, you, you should notice something significant. But I always say you want to really boot it up to really acclimate your cell response that first three weeks. So I say five grams or so, four to five grams twice daily for the first one to three weeks. And then after that, you could drop it down to five grams a day, four to five grams once a day. And uh, again, I think that uh, the good thing about it is, there's, as we pointed out to one of the earlier callers, there's really not a lot of side effects we're looking at, not a lot of contraindications. There really are no side effects. The only contraindications, like we said earlier, was uh, there have been some studies that indicate that uh, diabetics that are on medication to lower blood sugar uh, may have uh, some problems with uh, with the the contraindication response there because for, for some chemistry, not, not for everybody, but for some chemistries, the ribose has been shown to drop some of that blood sugar down just a wee bit. So you want to make sure that you're not, uh, you know, running yourself into a, a problem where you're dropping your blood sugar uh, dangerously low, which, you know, again, if you're on medication to drop it low, fine, leave it that way. We'll find another source to get you some energy, but ribose for you may not be the solution. Other than that, you're looking at a very uh, viable supplement that's uh, very safe, doesn't have a lot of contraindications, and uh, like we said, no side effects. So there you go. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless uses free call, just dial pound 969. Also, the other thing I wanted to mention about ribose is the best, um, the, the best way to take ribose would be to, to be take it early in the day. A lot of folks wonder about when you take your ribose uh, regarding uh, athletic endeavors. You want to take it at least an hour and a half before a good workout, an hour and a half before your jog or whatever. But you also want to take it early in the day. Make sure you're not taking your ribose supplements later in the day. You don't want to be fueling up before you go to bed. Although, again, it's not the kind of energy supplement that's going to geek you out and keep you awake all night. But nonetheless, you don't want to be providing your system with all kinds of energy and then off to bed with you. That really is not the wisest uh, solution. So I always say best to get your energy medicines earlier in the day. And 
uh, throughout the day. So again, take your ribose morning, afternoon, evening. By the time uh, we're talking about uh, early evening, you want to start pulling out of uh, energy supplementation and uh, leave it for the next day. So ribose is better taken in those manners. And for those of you who are engaged in physical exercises that are fairly demanding, you want to do it at least 90 minutes before. All right, we're going to take a short little break, and I'll be right back with your call. Stay tuned. So, what's new for insiders? Enter to win the Fall Classic at Fenway Park DVD, showcasing the 2004 and 2007 World Series championships from Major League Baseball Productions and A&E Network's Home Entertainment. Plug in, boot up, log on. Online, on demand, 96.9, bostontalks.com. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health. Cold and flu season is upon us, and we have all the natural remedies for you and your family. We carry all the clean, proven brands. Now is the time to stock up on whole food vitamins, powerful germ-fighting herbs, homeopathics, natural nasal sprays, cough syrups, and organic and wild-crafted liquid herbal extracts. All our products are available at our everyday low prices, and we can always special order. So come by and see us in Quincy or Hanover. Pick up some free samples, visit goodhealthnaturalfood.com for our monthly specials and in-store demos, see our fresh, 100% organic fall produce and natural groceries, try our new fresh sandwiches and salads by Renaissance, and don't forget to order your all-natural turkeys. Good Health, the intelligent choice for healthful and economical everyday staples and holiday foods and gifts. Remember, Good Health is our business, so let it be your lifestyle. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, headaches, and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitest Medical Labs at Food Allergies Allergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Alatest also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Alatest Medical Labs, foodallergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Alatest Medical Labs today. Foodallergy.com. Make sure the food food you're eating isn't what's depleting you. Make plans now for a day with Alberto Violdo, renowned medical anthropologist, psychologist, and leading teacher of shamanism. Hear Alberto Violdo on Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana 43 Scanlon Drive, Randolph. With so much worrisome news lately, Alberto may be just what you need to keep yourself in balance, not forget your true mission, and likely get nourishment. Alberto will share spiritual inspiration coming from his own process in a unique presentation, 2012 and beyond. Register for Alberto Violdo at MyHealthyLivingMag.com. General admission is just $49. Program begins at 6 p.m. This is your chance to see Alberto Violdo live Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana in Randolph. Reservations, call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Or online, MyHealthyLivingMag.com. MyHealthyLivingMag.com. Come to learn how we can live in genuine harmony with each other. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. The Rise and Wireless News is free call, pound 96.9. Let's get to Mary in Arlington. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks from the Natural Health Show. Yeah, hi. Great show. Thank you. Uh, my question is about um, building muscle mass um, after 40 when your testosterone levels are low. Yep. And uh, what's the benefit then of taking protein supplements, branch chain, um, amino acids, and things like uh, waxy maize? Is this a waste of money or is it really helpful? No, it's actually not a waste of money. I think that, uh, you know, amino acids, if you really think about all the different accomplishments in the body, they're, they're profound. I mean, amino acids really are these incredible structures that provide everything from, you know, brain support to uh, connective tissue support. Uh, you know, if, if you just pick one for random here, if we randomly pick something like lysine, you know, lysine is an antiviral. So, I mean, for folks who suffer from chronic viruses, like herpetic viruses, lysine can be extremely helpful. Also, you know, you want to 
think about uh, what you just talked about a second ago here, you know, the idea of low testosterone. Um, arginine, which is the opposite party of lysine, actually helps the body to engage in uh, producing higher levels of its own testosterone. So for folks who are testosterone deficient, uh, there are many folks who engage in uh, amino acid therapies whereby they're taking uh, high concentrations of arginine to kind of offset those uh, those losses. So, you know, I, I think there's no question about the fact that amino acids are very helpful, very useful, really all the days of our lives. And I think that I would not discourage anybody from amino acid supplementation. I think uh, you're in good shape to take those. And is there also a benefit, say, of some, something like D-ribose versus Waximase and complex carbs and before or after you work out? Yeah, yeah, there surely is, yeah, because you're, what you're doing, again, the, the carbs really are your fuel, again, but using, you know, the way I put it earlier, uh, a simple metaphor would be it's uh, like uh, having, uh, you know, you're start, trying to start a fire, you've got all kinds of matches, and uh, you have no kindling wood to get your fire started. So you can load up on energy, but that doesn't mean that energy is going to be available. So to have those spark plugs like ribose, for example, to really engage that energy and to really get it sparked uh, is really what it's all about. So I think, you know, you're absolutely right about B vitamins and carbo complex carbohydrates, uh, but you also have to have that spark plug to make it all work. So in order to get those mitochondria within those cells all fired up and sparked, you got to have that ribose. That ribose is so, so vital for that. So again, for folks like yourself who obviously eat really well, take good care yourself and provide all the background for proper energy, uh, ribose is a perfect solution to really get it pointed in the right direction and to, uh, to trigger it. Great. Thanks so much. Pleasure. Thanks for helpful. calling. Thank you very much. All right. So, you know, I think that uh, that's a really good point, too, when we talk about energy. We're talking about carbohydrates, of course, you know, the proper kind of carbohydrates being an important part of that equation. Um, you know, when folks are eating a lot of processed carbohydrates, you're going to sabotage your energy. Folks are eating good, complex, uh, unprocessed, unrefined carbohydrates, you're going to have more sustainability, more sustained energy. Also, the B vitamin uh, solution is really an important one as well. To make sure you're getting a good B vitamin as well is uh, part of that energy equation. But to me, if you're, as we just pointed out to that caller, if you're doing the the uh, the foundational work of providing yourself with energy, you know, you're not sabotaging it with coffee, simple sugars, white flours, things like that, uh, but you're actually getting a good hit of complex carbohydrates, vegetables, and fruits, uh, high complex, uh, high fiber grains, etc., and you're getting a good quality B complex vitamin, then you add the ribose, well, that's a perfect combination. I think that's pretty much uh, the way we want to we want to approach the energy business. Uh, again, in Boston and New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless uses free call pound 96.9. We're here to take your calls regarding virtually any health-related topics, but we are talking with you tonight about ribose. And again, why? Because ribose is all about energy, mental function, cardiac function, CFIDs, and fibromyalgia. been many, many studies, again, that uh, have clearly indicated that ribose is a vital energy uh, enhancer because it, of the way it affects the molecules like adenosine triphosphate, NADH, and FADH. Uh, and ribose is really the spark plug in your body that gets that energy moving in the right direction. And, uh, you know, ribose along with adenine are the key spark plugs, uh, the two major spark plugs that really uh, get the body engaged in sufficient supplies of uh, and distributions of energy. And again, as I said earlier, not having sufficient ribose this is sort of like trying to uh, build a fire without kindling wood. So very, very important stuff. And uh, I think it's also not only critical to energy, but I think it's also uh, critical to repair work like we talked about earlier. So um, vigorous exercisers out there that have uh, energy, energy, energy uh, depletion from their workout schedules and from their rigorous events can lose up to 30% of their muscle energy uh, after that particular event or, or rigorous workout. And again, 10, gra 10 grams of ribose will totally neutralize muscle energy, uh, the muscle energy loss and, and totally support that muscle recovery need. And again, the, there have been animal studies by Dr. Ron Terjung. And Dr. Ron Terjung has, has uh, repeatedly found that uh, ribose is a difference maker. And one particular study that he did found that ribose re recovery rates increased by 430% for those folks who use ribose after vigorous workouts. So let's get to Jeff from Salem. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show, the Natural Health Show. 
I, um, what was the brand of ribose that you just said? I recommend the Jaro, J-A-R-R-O-W, Jaro Formulas Ribose, not just because they're our sponsor. I always mention the fact that uh, right. the reason they're our sponsor is because I think they've got remarkable products and uh, love having them on board. But Jaro makes a terrific ribose. I recommend the large container. There's a, The powder is really easy to uh, to uh, utilize. It's tiny, tiny little scooper in there. It's about a pinky-sized scooper. And all that's going to do is give you 2,200 milligrams right there and uh, put that in a glass of water. And as I said earlier, uh, it's just going to make your water taste a little bit better. And it's a real easy delivery. Right. And it's readily absorbed. It's a great, great absorption. I've used it myself, and I, I love that product. So what I recommend, again, for folks to get started the first three weeks to acclimate your cell response, let's say five grams, which is really pretty much uh, two to three scoops, uh, twice daily. And then just cut it back to about five grams a day after week three because you want to acclimate your system to it the first three weeks. You will notice a difference after the first two weeks. That's the key. With, with energy and stuff. Okay, that's good. What would um, I, I weight train quite a bit, and it's Great. I do uh, get a lot of cardio in there. I'm only yep. waiting like 30 seconds between sets, so yep. I'm getting kind of covering all the bases. Is there a supplement out there that um, cuts down or helps you um, absorb the lactic acid as you work out more. To, to, sure, there you is. know what I'm saying. I do yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of, of steroids, you know, to, to get a, you know, to get rid of that lactic acid quicker in your muscles so you can work out a little longer. Yeah, well, ribose is one of those things that will do that. It will rush that out of the cell and expedite the movement of that of that uh, achy stuff right. out of your cells. But also, you know, uh, there's some simple things. So vitamin E will do that. Uh, vitamin E, a good way to do that is to get some gamma, G A M M A, the gamma uh, type vitamin E, uh -huh. and I'd say 800 units. Of gamma, you will help you expedite that movement as well. And last but not least, if you really want to get that done, if you get a lot of uh, achiness after rigorous workouts, uh, besides the ribose and the gamma E, is I would recommend calcium lactate because calcium lactate is the sponge that sops up all that lactic acid. So it oh. doesn't take much 500 milligrams of calcium lactate. Oh, okay. Thank right. you very much. Hey, have good workouts. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. All right, so, you know, a lot of folks are engaging in more and more vigorous workout activity than ever before. And, again, he brings up a great point that so many folks at the end of a vigorous workout, uh, you know, have a lot of lactic acid. What does that feel like? A lot of folks out there may not know what that feels like or what we're talking about when we talk about lactic acid or peruvic acid. These are fatigue acids, folks, that, uh, you know, even if you get a weekend warrior out there to take a walk around the block who's not accustomed to doing a whole lot of walking, they may notice that their muscles ache after that walk or after the, after the vigorous workout. And then the burning question here is, how do I get that out of those muscles? Because, you know, you don't want to be lying in bed uh, aching and paining after your vigorous work, workout, rather, after your walk. And also, for those folks who really have to get it going again and work out the next day, you can't be uh, laid up with that kind of, uh, that kind of action. So to chase out that, that lactic acid, the, the three keys, I would tell you, would be the ribose, vitamin E in the form of gamma E, and calcium lactate. Again, calcium lactate will chase away and sop up like a sponge. It'll sop up all that lactic acid. It doesn't take a lot of calcium lactate. 500 milligrams a day should get the job done. Let's get to uh, Leslie on the line from Princeton. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk Show and the Natural Health Show. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Um, I have a question regarding low blood sugar. Yep. I've had um, I'm a reactor high blood glycemic and yep. I've had it forever and I understand how I can maintain myself somewhat with food but my question is it seems that there's a, a real relationship between the adrenal and if those are taxed in some way, my blood sugar reacts to that very severely. And I'm wondering if I'm almost 50, if they, there's something I could take that could help support the adrenals. And I'm not even sure if this is correct in what I'm saying. That the, You are right on the money, by the way. I won't interrupt okay. you any longer, but uh, you're a wise woman. Mo most folks don't know what you're talking about, but you're right on the money. Keep going. Yeah, so I, I've noticed that there is a direct relationship. If I get stressed or if I get anxious, all of a sudden my blood sugar plummets. I actually experience a temperature reduction, and I get chilled. And, and I know that when I then take care of it, I'm fine, but I'm worried. Yeah about my adrenals, and I thought, you know, now's the time to start thinking about it and, and trying to support them in some way. Well, good for you. Good stuff on your part. Uh, you're a good student of your own bod. That's excellent. But a couple thoughts. Number one, you're absolutely right that the adrenal glands, the stress glands, when they get all uh, jittery and they get all overworked and overdriven, are going to have an, a tendency to kind of really mess with your pancreas, and your blood sugar levels are going to tend to bounce up and down. So uh, the best way to mediate 
the adrenal glands is by mediating the cortisol. And that becomes kind of a, a catch-22 because the more stress you encounter, the worse your adrenals, the more compromised your blood sugar, the worse you sleep, and the worse you sleep, the lower your cortisol. I'm sorry, the, yeah. higher, the higher your cortisol and the lower your blood sugar. So one of the keys is to really mediate your cortisol levels. So okay. a couple things that I'd recommend there. There's a product by New Chapter called Holy Basil. Holy, Holy Basil, yeah, it's been studied extensively overseas. A lot of it's been studied in India quite a bit, but it's a, it's been very very effective for a lot of the folks that I that I counsel and work with over the years as a cortisol mediator. It keeps cortisol from going too high too low. It sort of balances it out. So I recommend those are like 500 milligram capsules. I'd recommend three of those a day, just morning, afternoon, and evening, and that's mm -hmm. Holy Basil by New Chapter that'll help mediate those energy levels, uh, those stress energy levels, those cortisol energy levels, also. I'd recommend magnesium in the form of taurate, T-A-U-R-A-T-E, magnesium taurate. And I'd recommend 500 milligrams of magnesium taurate before bed because it's a great way to uh, get yourself some good quality uh, REM sleep. Because I don't, I don't get good sleep. Of course. I, I'm up at 1.30 type of thing, and I'm, oh, sure. I'm always up for two hours, and then I do fall back to yeah, sleep. Yeah. But. Well, that magnesium taurate has got your name on, and I would do 500 milligrams before before bedtime. And, uh, you know, as far as the blood sugars go, you might want to try some chromium GTF, which is the mineral chromium GTF, 200 MCGs with meals, just breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And finally, glutamine, L-glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E, 500 milligrams of glutamine, one mid-morning, one mid-afternoon. Those, those should make a big difference. So, again, I'll go over those real quickly for you. So, uh, and I can get them off the, the website, right? Cause you can, yeah. We, we we are a little slow at uh, getting stuff on the uh, the website, but we'll get it up uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday this week. You'll probably have it on there. And okay. And so, so you're saying that these supplements are good for supporting the adrenal? Well, yes, indeed, because okay. the, the key to supporting your adrenals is really cortisol. I think that uh, the, okay. the most important of those would be the holy basil and the magnesium taurate. Now, can you get too much magnesium? Because I have magnesium in my calcium, I have magnesium in this quercetin I take. Yeah, but uh, you're, you're you're probably you're probably absorbing and you're probably getting a delivery of about twenty to twenty five percent of what's in a complex synergist okay. like that. I wouldn't worry about okay. that at all. Okay, thank you so much. My pleasure. Take care of yourself. I think we're up against a break time, so we're going to take a little short breather here, pay for a few light bills, and be right back on the Natural Health Show. Stay tuned. Your 2012 Campaign Connection, 96.9 Boston Talks. There's a fine balance between what's best for your landscape and what's best for your family. This is why Aspen Environmental Services of New England is proud to be an industry leader in the use of environmentally responsible products for outdoor pest control, tree and shrub spraying and injecting. Applications control Lyme disease ticks, caterpillars, adelgids, and 200 other pests that damage landscape. Visit the plant health care professionals at Tree and Lyme. LawnCare.com. That's tree and lawncare.com. Or call 888 418 Bugs and mention Candida because listeners get a 10% discount. That's 888 418 Bugs. Tree and lawncare.com. Get them before they get you. Make plans now for a day with Alberto Violdo, renowned medical anthropologist, psychologist, and leading teacher of shamanism. Hear Alberto Violdo on Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana 43 Scanlon Drive, Randolph. With so much worrisome news lately, Alberto may be just what you need to keep yourself in balance, not forget your true mission, and likely get nourishment. Alberto will share spiritual inspiration coming from his own process in a unique presentation, 2012 and beyond. Register for Alberto Violdo at MyHealthyLivingMag.com. General admission is just $49. Program begins at 6 p.m. This is your chance to see Alberto Violdo live Thursday, October 20th, 6 p.m. at the Lantana in Randolph. Reservations, call 781-834-2728. That's 781-834-2728. Or online, My MyHealthyLivingMag.com MyHealthyLivingMag.com Come to learn how we can live in genuine harmony with each other. 96.9 Boston Talks Michael Graham Now, afternoons 3 to 7 You've been working all day, now you're in your car fighting traffic You need to take someone along who's on your side and ready to have a good time That's me, Michael Graham, your official afternoon drive wingman 
Hey, what's up with that guy in the truck? 96.9 Boston Talks. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health. If you listen to the news, chances are you know that many Americans are seriously deficient in vitamin D. Recent studies at Mount Sinai Hospital measured vitamin D levels in women who were newly diagnosed with breast cancer. The findings are a wake-up call. Women who were deficient in vitamin D were nearly twice as likely to experience the spread of cancer to other parts of the body. That's 94%. That's huge. These studies reveal significant correlations between low vitamin D levels and the rates of breast cancer, osteoporosis, and depression in women. If you're at risk or if you have cancer in your family, you may want to consider having your levels tested and adding vitamin D to your daily regimen. Good Health carries pure vitamin D3 by Life Extension, Solgar, and Jarrow formulas in gel caps, liquids, and chewables. For as little as $4, you can fight these sobering statistics. So visit us in Quincy or Hanover. The risk is real, but we're here to help protect you and your family. See you soon, and thanks for listening. If you're looking to adopt a cat or dog, now's the perfect time. The Animal Rescue League of Boston is having a free adoption day on Wednesday, October 5th at its Boston and Brewster shelters as part of its Race to Rescue 1500 to save the lives of 1500 animals by October 31st. For more information and hours, please visit the Animal Rescue League of Boston online at arlboston.org. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. In Boston and New England, 617-8221-969. Verizon Wireless uses free call, pound 96.9. We've been chatting with you about your energy. Nobody has too much. Last time I checked, everybody's complaining about lack thereof. So uh, we're trying to help you get some uh, some ideas about what you can do about that energy depletion. Again, not just energy depletion, but mental function, cardiac function. The heart is a muscle, and uh, there's an awful lot of mitochondria in that heart muscle that uh, keeps it well. There's a whole new uh, system, a whole new philosophy of uh, heart wellness that has uh, recently become uh, an important part of the health landscape, uh, especially with the breakthrough publication of the Sinatra Solution book. Uh, Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra is the, uh, the author of the Sinatra Solution. The subtitle is Metabolic Cardiology, and again, it's a whole concept of uh, trying to really think of the heart more as a muscle and uh, to boost the the supply and the delivery and the production of energy in the heart muscle itself to prevent and to offset the the ravages of congestive heart failure. It's a remarkable book and it's a remarkable concept. So I want to bring that up. Also, uh, the last series of calls, uh, last segment, we wanted to make sure that folks know that uh, and our website at maxhealing.com, it's just one word, maxhealing, M-A-X, healing, uh, .com. You can actually get to uh, our archives of any of these broadcasts. So if you miss any of the information, like like one of the gals we just talked a little while ago is, is looking to pick up the information off the website, which you can do as well. Um, so it's available uh, pretty much any time after Tuesday or so. But also, um, you know, we've got uh, all my Fox 25 stuff on there and quite a bit of other information as well. Folks want to try to reach me on off the uh, the air they can actually do it through that website as well and i try to answer questions through emails and i only answer about 300 of those uh, emails a week but uh, i surely don't mind doing it so you're welcome to send me your questions anyway that's uh, maxhealing.com also um important to remind everybody that uh 969 bostontalks.com does the very same thing and i believe uh mike one of those up the last segments are up there already. They're already up there, so the last one is already up there. So if folks are interested in uh, checking out the segments of the Natural Health Show, you can either do it on our on our website at uh, maxhealing.com or 969bostontalks.com. So let's get to your calls. Marjorie from South Shore, welcome to 969 Boston Talks. You're in the Natural Health Show. Thank you, Dr. Mincola. Pleasure. I'm calling about CoQ10. Sure. I understand that the ubiquitol is the type to take. Uh, ubiquinol, OL. Ubiquinol. Yes. Um, the thing is, if someone had been prescribed 1,200 milligrams of CoQ10 and had been taking the regular type that isn't so absorbent, would could you take less of the ubiquinol? Well, you know, I think it comes down to uh, the the. I know Jaro did. Jaro published a lot of great research on, it, and they said that the ubiquinol, which is the alcohol converted form of ubiquinone, that has to convert into it. Uh, so the the regular type you were taking is ubiquinone, and the ubiquinone has to convert into the alcohol based ubiquinol, and the ubiquinol is about four hundred and fifty 
times more absorbable. So it's kind of hard to compare them. Right. Um, so, you know, you're going to get value out of them both, believe me. And I think the other, the other good news is that uh, the cells of the body are extremely receptive to any form of ubiquinol, ubiquinone, or CoQ10, as it were. Uh, it's just the efficiency is probably considerably higher with ubiquinol. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't feel negatively or feel slighted by the ubiquinone. And I don't think you want to compensate by, by dosing up. I think you want to just keep your doses about the same. And uh, when you're done with the ubiquinone that you've been taking, just shift over to the ubiquinone. Yes, but I noticed that the price is really um, cost prohibitive. Well, of course, well, it is a little bit more expensive, uh, that but that's only because the industry knows that uh, that you know which one is the more important yeah, one to take. Yeah. Unfortunately, so oh, would it be, if you, t- for example, if you would you still be better off taking a lesser dose of the ubiquinol, ubiquinol than the twelve hundred of the ubiquinol? Ubiquinone? Known. Yeah, no, I would I would say that uh, I would keep the same dosing, but why are you on such a high dose, just out of curiosity? Oh, this person has Parkinson's. Oh, I see. Okay, very good. And to be honest, the doctor has said that the study was inconclusive, but he mm-hmm. feels better taking CoQ10. Well, most of the studies that are conclusive are actually published in Europe. Uh, there is an, there's a major symposium. We had Catherine Foley on the show from Jar of Formulas not too many months back, and uh, she brought in the booklet from the symposium in Europe, and it's pretty remarkable. Uh, all the great researchers from around the world actually attended that, and uh, it's, uh, there's no question that there's a viability factor. It's, it's for real. CoQ10 is the real deal. There's no doubt about that. But uh, I, I would say, yes, that the, I wouldn't worry about the ubiquinone. I'd keep the same dosing on the ubiquinone as you would on the ubiquinol, and not to worry about trying to compensate uh, by dosing up. I see. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. A- Take care. Thank you. Let's get to uh, James from Boston, and welcome to 96.9 Boston Talk. You're in the Natural Health Show. Yes, I, I wanted to go back to the uh, ribose. The ribose, and the, yep. The uh, uh, gamma E uh-huh. and uh, calcium, was it uh, the trait you said? Um, uh, calcium uh, lac- yeah, lactate. Yeah, that's calcium lactate. Oh, lactate. Um, wh- when is it best to take any of uh, this or anything when I'm working out? Um, my workout is about an hour and a half, so I'm doing uh, a combination of, of uh, light weights and, mm-hmm. and, and push ups and, and then a lot of uh, core uh, exercises, sit ups, and such. Um, and I, I want to know what I, what I should do to maximize it. Do I take anything before, after, during? What is the best time and what would life take? Yeah, I think the ribose is the most important thing to use, energetically speaking. And I, I would use it, again, think about the two major things we're talking about with, with regard to ribose this evening. Number one, you're talking about a great source of energy. So you certainly want energy for your workout. So I would say an hour before your workout, you take uh, your first dosing of ribose and I would recommend, you know, something like uh, five grams or so before your workout. Uh, And then after your workout, we talked about the idea of recovery, you know, so those muscles don't have a big uh, problem with the lactic lactic acid, et cetera. So so I'd recommend an hour before and an hour after. Um, You know, those are probably the most important times of day for us. With the ribose? Yeah, with the ribose, absolutely. So I would recommend uh, equal dosing, you know, the idea of doing five grams an hour before, five grams an hour after. Those to me are the most important things. Then if you want to use the calcium lactate for the lactic acid, which you likely won't even need after using the ribose, but I would use that later in the day before bedtime because, again, it's a good buffer, it's a good alkalizer, and it might help you get a good quality sleep, and that's an important form of recovery. So I would say uh-huh. that you want to use the, the 500 milligrams of lactic uh, of calcium lactate rather before bed. Yeah, I noticed that I don't really have a lot of uh, muscle soreness, mm-hmm. uh, and and a lot of that could be because um, I cut down on my calcium. I you know a lot of the milk products uh, that I have, especially uh, during the day, and I do drink coffee in the morning, and I it's always 100 percent lactose reduced. So I don't know, maybe my lactose intake is lower than most people. Well, the, the, I don't, yeah, the other I, thing, the other thing you might want to think about doing is you might want to consider uh, getting yourself if you get on a good health natural foods. They got the uh, .067 calibrated urine strips, the pH strips. You check, uh-huh. check your first morning's urine, and you want to be between 6.4 and 6.8. If you're under 6.4, especially if you're in the real yellow range or 5.5, 5.8, your body's way too acidic. 
you, know, oh, yeah. you, you want to buffer that with a little bit of calcium lactate and perhaps some uh, liquid chlorophyll, etc. And probably the other thing I want to ask about going back to the uh, ubiquinol. Yep. I take in ubiquinol. I, I'm, I'm very fond of the gyro products. Yep. I take it in conjunction with red, red rice yeast extract for Great. my cholesterol because I don't believe in taking pills. Excellent. And I have lowered my cholesterol uh, quite a bit. But I take it together because um, supposedly there's a depletion factor yep. uh, uh, with, with either rice yeast or with... Um, uh, the medication that one would take for a Lipitor or whatever. So uh, you got a great I'd plan. Like, is that a good idea to I take think it you, together? Absolutely. you got a great plan, absolutely. you got a really good plan. Hey, we're going to have to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for your call, and thank you, Cheryl and Anne-Marie and so many other folks that called as well. We'll try to get to you next Sunday. We thank you for your patience, and uh, we will happily answer your questions uh, next Sunday at 5. Uh, wow, this uh, hour goes by mighty, mighty quickly, and all your great calls are most welcome and appreciated. And uh, don't forget to, st to stay tuned here on 96.9 Boston Talks for Woody Abbey and Right Turn Radio, New England's number one addiction program. And, uh, of course, uh, thanks to our producer, Mike Roberts, intern Alex Todorovic, and podcast meister Adam Ng. Thanks to Candida. And, uh, again, we encourage you to check out our website at maxhealing.com. And, again, I was not on Fox 25 this past Thursday because I was pre Preempted by Red Sox news, which was uh, pretty pretty vital to the community, no question about it. But uh, we're all healing. For, hey, too bad we didn't get to the Red Sox with some ribose uh, information before the season ended. Anyway, it was great to uh, great to be with you all this Sunday, as it is each and every Sunday. Until next Sunday, this is Mark Mancola reminding you all: please be wise, be aware, be well. Make it a healthy week. Good night.